we come back. We have really covered a lot up to this time. This topic is called preparing the Oracle environment. Part of your work as a DBA is to pick the right software that is going to be used. There are a lot of versions out there for Oracle. Which one is most suitable for your organization? That is when your expertise comes in. You need to understand the different editions. You need to understand the documentation and all that. What are the requirements of the system? What are the requirements of the software you are going to install? And that leads us to what we carefully look at when we are installing the software. To install the Oracle database software, we need to first of all review different documentation. Every edition of the software comes with different requirements. So we need to know. In our case, we are going to install Oracle 11G. It's not so old, or it's not so new. Uh, the latest version of Oracle database software is 21C at the time of the recording. But we are not going to install the latest. Well, even if you are going to use Oracle 11G, the foundation and the knowledge you get from this episode will help you to work with all versions of Oracle. So whenever you are installing Oracle, you review the documentation of each document. You can get the documentation from the Oracle website for every software. They have that documentation. Among the requirements of this Oracle 11G software, you need to have a hard disk space, a minimum of 200 MBs for you to be able to install the software. Then the RAM space of 1 GB, that is the minimum. Then we have the different editions of Oracle. We have the Express Edition, the Enterprise Edition, Sub Standard Edition. You can go and look at them. In our case, we're going to use the Enterprise Edition. Like for it, if you don't have, if your machine is a bit weak, or you are not interested in so much features of Oracle, you can install the Express Edition. But for our case, we're going to use the Enterprise Edition that is used in organizations when they're managing their data. We are choosing the Enterprise Edition because it comes really with everything we need to master the Oracle database software. Then the software version we said we have 11G, that is what we are going to use, but there are so many other versions out there. When we are installing the Oracle database software, we use the Oracle Universal Installer or the OUI. What the OUI does, it checks your system to ensure that it had the minimum requirements required for you to be able to install the Oracle database software. So without further ado, let's see this in action. We need to have this Oracle setup. We can download it from the Oracle website. You can always come here to the Oracle website and you download the setup from here. They have different versions of the setup and you can really check for which version you are interested in. They have the latest and you can check for the old versions in the archive. After getting the setup, you can come back and look for it in the location, downloads folder. It always comes as a zipped folder can unzip it. As it is unzipping, you can also check the bit version of your machine, whether it is a 64 bit or a 32 bit. If it is a 32, you need to have, you can't install a 64 bit version of Oracle on your machine. So you need to check from the website to check out which version is your machine before you install it. This one is 64 bit, and then you need to check the operating system. You're right. We have the version for Windows and Linux. So you can check which version of your machine, whether it's a 64 or a 32 bit version, for you before you download the software. After it has unzipped, you can now come and check and see. This is the Oracle setup. So you can come to the install folder and we check for the OUI which is the Oracle Universal Installer. It is the one we use when we are installing. You can use the OUI, the Oracle Universal Installer tool, for you to be able to install. It checks the minimum requirements of your system before it begins the installation work. Or you can just come and use the setup. So we can come to the setup and run as an administrator. Or we can just use the OUI. So let's open run as an administrator. It pops up a prompt screen if you want to really install the software and run this so you can see the black screen it has started ensuring it has started to check if the system is having the minimum requirements the minimum requirements required for me to install the oracle software on, on my machine 
so it pops up the screen once it is done that are you sure you want to continue then i say yes so the moment i'm done it's confirmed that really my system is matching the minimum requirements then it can begin the installation work the first screen is inquiring if we want to be getting the oracle support messages from remember this is an enterprise edition used in organizations we need to keep up with the update oracle uses the email we supply here to inform us but we are not interested in that because we are just using this for study purposes so we are going to just say we are not interested in receiving the updates so we can uncheck this then we proceed with the next actually they warn you that you wish to remain uninformed of the critical security issues of your computer you say yeah we are not interested for now but in the work environment you indeed so on this screen they are giving us three install options we can create and configure a database we can install only the software and then or we can upgrade the existing database for our case we are just going to install the software so we need to choose the second option we shall create the database later then we click and we click next on this screen we get the type of database installation we want to perform whether it is a single instance or a multiple instance it's called the RAP, the real application clusters it's outside our study scope but what it basically means Oracle database can support multiple instances to run at a go on one database but for our case we are going to just use the single instance database installation when we click next they give us the language the language of the software which language are we interested in we shall leave it to the default on English so we come to the screen of the database edition which edition do you want to install the enterprise edition the standard edition you can go and look at these different editions but we are going to install the enterprise edition and when you click next they give us the best location where we so the first one is for the oracle as oracle then the second one is for the files so we shall be storing this if you want to change it you can change it here but i will leave it to the default and then move on to next they give me a summary of everything so when i click finish then the installation process starts windows defender is asking if i need to allow some features to be executed in this version of software i can just proceed allow access so we can see that the process is done and it is complete our oracle database software has been successfully installed and congratulations when you check all the installed programs you can just come here to oracle or our home so this is where we have all the tools there are really so many there are really so many we have the administrator this is the database configuration there are so many and we shall be looking at some of them we can't finish all of them but we are going to be using some of them so after this we are the next part is creating oracle database we have